He's talking about the Torah. He's talking about the prophets. Now that was another big aha moment. Whoa, that this, this Gentile God, if you will, is Jewish. I'm originally from New York City. Um, grew up in a Jewish home. When I was a child, I went to synagogue. I remember learning about Abraham, David and Goliath, learning to read Torah portion, learning to chant blessings. There was a religion that I was being taught that I learned pretty well and an identity that I was taught and I learned pretty well. What it meant to be a Jew. But what about the God of the Jews? That was kind of like a missing piece. I was working as a camp counselor, beautiful place on, on the lakes, Lake Winnipesaukee up in New Hampshire. I began to look at the, the incredible creation, looking at the mountains, looking at the lakes, looking at the trees. For the first time in my life, something began to open up. There's no way that this could have happened just by itself. I had a friend back then who showed up at the camp just at the same time I did, another Jewish kid. He had a Bible with him, and that Bible included the New Testament. My first reaction was, you know, why, why are you even, like, looking at that? Why are you even considering that? What's, what's the point? How could you, you know, give that any regard at all? This was the Gentile religion. This was the non-Christian thing. This was the, the religion for those people. One day, and I really can't tell you why, maybe curiosity, I don't know. I opened up my friend's Bible. Now, I had never opened the New Testament in my life, and I, I looked at what Jesus was saying there. The first thing I read goes like this. Blessed are those who know their need of God. They shall be satisfied. I was never exposed to such a question or never exposed to such a, a proposition. Hey, did you ever consider that you might need God? Something hit me here, knowing your need of God. And for the first time in my life, I began to realize, you know something? I think I might need that. And the synagogue, like I said, it taught me about being Jewish. It taught me the stories of, of, the, of the Bible. But the, there was a difference between learning stories and lear, knowing the author. If I could possibly come to a knowledge of him, not just know about him or not just know, you know what he said to do or not to do, if I could somehow know him, that would be the best knowing that there is. I began to, to seek in my heart, and I began to read more of this Jesus and the words of this Jesus. I, I learned that he's Jewish. He's talking about the Torah. He's talking about the prophets. He's talking about David. He's talking about Elijah. I was reading the words of a rabbi. This was not what I expected, opening up the Gentile Bible. He was addressing issues of my heart, how I should relate to other people, what, how, or, or how God is so righteous and holy and that he wants me in my heart to be righteous and holy. I know that I'm impure, I know, I know that I'm not right, I know that there's so much imperfection, but I also see this, this, this perfection before me this beauty before me. And I read in, in the Hebrew Bible how God's messenger, God's servant was wounded. He was bruised for our iniquities, sins. Something had happened, something had turned my heart around and I became open to God and the fulfillment of everything that my upbringing pointed to. I was second semester in school. 
there was nobody in the dormitory room but me. And I had been reading and soaking it all in, thinking about it and mulling over this for months. But I finally, I got up from my bed, stood up, and I just kind of, I said to myself, you know, I might as well just admit it. I believe this. This is who I am. I, I felt something, like physically, come over me. The top of my head and kind of going down. It was real. It was there. It was like almost physically you could feel it, but it, I knew that it was kind of like the air. It wasn't, you couldn't grasp it, but it was there. Came down. But most importantly, what this was saying to me, I, I remembered as clear as day. It was saying to me, son, what you have just said is the truth. As a Jew believing in the Jewish Messiah, I'm more complete as a Jew than I ever was. When I opened up my heart to see beyond prejudice, to see beyond artificial walls that have been created over the centuries, and I began to understand that my faith is complete, that I do not have to wait forever to know who this Messiah is, who this one who is to come, who it is at the Passover that we're waiting for when we open up the door and look outside. I know who he is. I know that he needed to come as Messiah, the suffering servant, and that one day he will come again as Messiah, the King of Kings.